Hey guys, Belle here from New Zealand and I'm just going to introduce my Rhino Rack Pioneer platform to you all and how I set it up for camping outdoors with my kids. While I'm under the awning here, just wanted to start off with how I've got my light set up and then we'll move around the rest of the vehicle. So in the, in the previous I've had the, the foot mounts on my other rack but with this one I've now got the backbone system and really like how I can mount my rock lights. Um, I've also managed to put my work lights and uh, C4s in the side there. Moving around this side of the vehicle, I've got the stowit system here for my shovel. Um, I believe this is the, the earlier and smaller model of the stowit. It's good for your fishing rods or your, um, your shovel or any smaller accessories. I've also usually got an ax on top as well, but just, I've already got my firewood nice and chopped up. On top, I've got the larger uh, stowit system, which I've got my high lift jack mount up on the top there. At the front here, I've got my stack of max tracks. I've, I've messed around with the different setups and I just like how this all works and flows really nicely with the max tracks in the front. And then I've got my swag, which is now on the ground, um, mounted up the top there. And it's just really easy to get up to, unbolt, chuck it down on the ground and get it set up. So at the front here, I've got my STX light bar. Previously, I've had to mount it further forward just with the amount of clearance. Um, and I've always really wanted to have it tucked away underneath my rack. So with this new platform, uh, and I put it up on the roof with the, the backbone system, I have the perfect amount of room to mount my light bar. So obviously not always out camping and I don't always carry the high lift jack on top. And what you can actually do is fit more than just one accessory inside that larger mount, which is really good with the versatility of space. So rather than having two side-by-side -side, uh, smaller systems, you can actually fit a pair of uh, accessories or again, fishing rods in there. Obviously being winter and the ski season, I sometimes sneak up the mountain without everyone else tagging along. So I can fit one set of skis in here. I do have a larger ski rack that I can swap out and have, you know, a mate's board or my partner's board, my skis, the kids' skis, and just have everyone's bits and pieces in the top there. The way that this rack differs from the original rack is it doesn't have that larger aperture through the channel. So with this woof lock system, you can just drop it into the channel without needing to move any of the other accessories around. In the past, if you had an accessory blocking that part of the channel, you'd have to take it off, rearrange things, and then sort of start back at square one to get it in. So rather than that, it just drops in, tighten it up, and you're good to go. 